So on December 4th, about 21 days ago, the Arizona Game and Fish Commission voted five to nothing to move a rule forward for public input. And that rule was banning trail cameras in their entirety. A couple of years ago, they banned cell cameras. So we're not talking about cell cameras right now. We're talking about simple trail cameras. And it has caused a, whew, a shitstorm. <laughs> uh, fractions of hunters, uh, some pro cameras, some against cameras, uh, a lot of public opinion. You're not gonna get public opinion from us, but rather we're gonna just look through the facts. Let's think through this a little bit because I think that nobody is really thinking. And so, what's at stake? Future wildlife, right? Remember that. The future of wildlife and the future of hunting is at stake when these decisions are made. I don't think anyone's thinking like that. So here's how I break it down. Is Arizona a desert state? Yeah. Is water in Arizona likely the most constraining resource on wildlife production? Answer's probably yes. So any of these water tanks and trickle tanks that the Arizona Game and Fish have put in place is already a place where wildlife are gonna congregate. And so any pressure on that water, any pressure on that water source may have some detriment to wildlife. And I say may very purposefully because we don't have the science, we don't have the data that shows a detriment of health to wildlife. That would be a very, very rigorous scientific study that would be very difficult to actually put in place and get results from anytime soon. So, yes, there is no science, there is no data to show that these cameras are actually affecting wildlife. But if you put one and one together, in the summer months, when water is the scarcest, and where trail camera use is at its peak, and non-hunter use of these areas is at its peak too, you can just put the equation together. That's going to put pressure on wildlife. Is that a good thing, or is that a bad thing? It's probably a bad thing. Okay, the whole technology argument is gonna be used as well, and you'll see that a lot. Well, where's it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop at rangefinders, long range rifles, spotting scopes, binoculars? And I think that that's just a stretch in that when you talk about things that help wildlife, and it has been shown that cameras do help wildlife management because you get a better inventory of the herd, you get a better inventory of what animals are out there, and potential outfitters and hunters can hold off of shooting those immature younger animals and target more mature animals. That has been shown to be true. I don't have the science to show that it's true, but anecdotal evidence by speaking with outfitters and other people, that's what they tend to find. So on January 1st, this ruling goes to public comment. And I was fortunate enough to talk to the commissioners. I actually spoke with two. I spoke with Chairman Davis and I spoke with Commissioner Guggenauer. And for those of you in Arizona, you have phenomenal commissioners. And I say that because these two individuals, you can hear them speak to what their mission is. And at the end of the day, when you start laying out all these arguments, technology, government regulations, it's not good for wildlife, it is good for wildlife. At the end of the day, someone has to make a decision. And in every state, the commissioners of the wildlife department, just like Arizona, just like the chairperson Davis and Commissioner Guggenauer, they have to make a decision. And when they think about those decisions, they have to, and they do, think about the best for the state, best for the wildlife of that state, and most importantly, they're thinking about the future for my kids their grandkids one day so that they are able to hunt that same quarry, that same game species 10 years into the future. You see, those commissioners aren't thinking in the here and now. Those commissioners are thinking long term, 10 years from now. So if you had to ask yourself, what would you do? 
What would you do with that thought pattern in your brain? That is, what is the best for the future of wildlife in the state of Arizona? And what is best for the future for my kids and my grandkids one day to be able to hunt that wildlife? Did that change your decision? Did that make you think a little bit more critically? I hope it did. We'll see. Stay tuned for that conversation. It's coming this week. And all we ask you to do is just think. Think what's good for wildlife beyond this decision, beyond this regulation. Every time you post, every time you do something, I want you to think. Is what I'm doing good for wildlife, good for hunting or not? Because the more we start thinking, the better our chances will be for having this thing around in the future. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you have a phenomenal 2021.